Hello and welcome guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you some JS repositories or some JS data sources that will assist you to provide uh, your necessary data in your research or in your projects. So uh, uh, mostly the data sources are providing uh, feasible or acceptable data is one of the most crucial things uh, in GIS. Uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, data repositories or databases uh, cloud-based geodatabases uh, but most of the time we are not able to find uh, our required data. One of the most uh, acceptable and feasible and unique geodatabases is uh, uh, IGRC. IGRC stands for International Groundwater Assessment Center. It is the uh, United Nations Organization uh, branch in this part. Just go through the uh, uh, this option and you can right click on this. Uh, this will lead you on a website from here data you can select map layers and you see here that uh, more than uh, 565 vector layers are available here and also last layer and remote layers uh, you can select uh, any of these uh, according to your necessity and according to your objective of your project or the data you need. And here you see 588 layers are available here. And you can go checking through each of them here or uh, you can search directly here, for example, uh, aquifier, when we search aquifier, uh, you see search results here. For example, aquifier transboundaries all over the world in 2012 and also 2017, 2020, year by year. Uh, when, when you click uh, any of this data and the result will be available here, for example. And uh, when you right click and open it in a new tab, uh, you can see many information about this. And the area or the coverage area of the data set, and you can zoom in or zoom out to see the coverage area of the uh, data set. Some data, uh, data sets are uh, dedicated or exactly uh, belongs to a specific location of the Earth's surface. For example, uh, you can search Africa. And you see here all the data related to African countries or Africa. For example, geological map of the Congo and, uh, and also geological map of the Algeria, uh, Botswana groundwater atlas and any of this. And uh, you, can, you can search, for example, climate data, uh, 
when you search for climate you can see for a lot of data sets here that you can more filter your search by typing uh, extra parameters here for example you see uh, climate zone trans boundaries boundary echo aggravator and climate zones simplified or classified according to the quota uh, we click here and you can open it that you see the climate zones of the earth's surface and uh, you can open it in your browser and you can use this. When you open a data set in a separate tab, uh, you can see detailed about the, uh, your data layer or your, uh, your intended data. And here you see all the climate classes here. For example, no data, arid, desert, hot, cold, so cold, dry, or uh, polar frost, any other tundra, any other of this tropical rainforest. And you can check the attributes that you, you can see in the number of the attributes here. After visualizing and minimizing the information about the data you can download the data from here and you have uh, different options here for example if you want this layer as an image or as a data as an image you can select the image formats here and as a data you can select data formats here and the original data set, SharePoint, GML, CSV, Excel, or JSON, or any of this. For example, I'm going to download this data set as a zipped shapefile here. And now it's downloaded. If you go through the folder and extract the file, and you see here, and you have the shapefile. You can open it here. Now, uh, uh, this is the uh, share file of the climate regions. Mm, for example, if I set up symbology for this, and I'm going to that's the climate and you see the climate zones here this covers uh, all parts of the earth's surface you can look for any area that you want uh, for example this area where I click on this the processing result that you see here ET polar tundra uh, or any other regions, for example, this is uh, arid desert hot, and also this area, arid desert cold, and finally, you can have all the climate classes uh, all over the world, and you can substitute data according to or clip your data according to your country, according to your area, and where you want, wherever you would like to uh, use this. So, it's a great sense, you know, to see all the climate zones all over the world to see just a similar uh, classes of the climate uh, in all over the world. For example, this area and this area and also this area in South America, America in South Africa and North Australia uh, seems to have the similar climate. So, 
uh, we can say that uh, IGRAC database is one of the most useful data set databases or standard databases that you can download and use your data. Uh, the next uh, uh, GU database or GIS data provider is NASA. NASA has various data uh, data sets or databases that you can download your data. Uh, for example, uh, Giovanni NASA and we search for this and open this uh, this will take you to this page and here you have uh, thousands of data sets and um, in this files uh, for example a special feature div 12 and especially in probably in any other of this. Uh, first of all, specify your study area here to uh, assist the website or the w, the database to calculate or to search for the available data in your study area. By clicking here, you can find out uh, your study area and uh, Uh, select your study area uh, in this panel. So, by selecting your study area, it will be specified that the data is available for your study area or for your location of the interest or not. For example, uh, when I select this part of this, this part of the uh, Earth's location and I search for the data. When I close this, the next thing is uh, you, you must specify the, your date range. Uh, from here, you can search for any data sets. For example, in the selected study area, there is 1972 data sets that you can search uh, for the available data sets here. For example, I search for uh, Sunu. And, uh, and I select Sunu div here, div of the div of the Sunu, and you have all your uh, available data sets here and these are the units uh, for example in um, match or the volume for example kilogram uh, by square meter and the data source the time resolution or temporal resolution for example monthly average daily or any of these and here is the spatial resolution and here is the date and uh, in a spatial resolution if you sort this that you will see the data sets from the highest resolution to the lowest one for example the highest resolution for this area uh, is uh, 0 0.01 degree from 2000 to 2021. Uh, if you select this and from here you can uh, set your time for example uh, I select uh, 2001 uh, January uh, 1st to uh, 2000, for example, to January 1st. 
and go to the average depth of the channel or the, the selected area uh, uh, it seems that uh, so no depth data uh, can't be uh, retrieved by a monthly or by seasonal so it's better to select it's by average time uh, in this interval of the time so you will wait for a few minutes to uh, plot your data or your data uh, be plotted by the Giovanni website now your data is available here so you can download through this and here you have different options uh, in which form you want to download it I'm going to download this data type in format of the GOTIF and it's ready here uh, whenever you want to be back to your data platform uh, for example for now I'm going to check uh, for air temperature and you have various data sets of the air temperature for your study area uh, for example if you set according to your uh, resolution of the spatial resolution of the image you see all these data types and uh, you can select according to your uh, uh, spatial resolution uh, for example this one and for this time I'm going to check for the seasonal time series or area average time series any of these and here I'm going to select the seasonal time series uh, in the interval of the 2010 for example 2010 and 2011 And here it says the air temperature cannot be seasonal time series because this is uh, a daily uh, uh, temporal resolution of the air temperature if we multiply uh, four seasons it became 300 and uh, 60 um, 366 days this is a uh, large number of the data uh, if I deselate some of these how well, it, it, it does not work so If I select some of the men's, so we must average this map within this this the interval of the year, for example, from uh, two thousand ten to two thousand. For example, 2013. We select the seasonal average or time series data. You must check here that uh, it's available for such an operation or not. Otherwise, you have to change uh, your decision from here. 
So you can plot your data. And after plotting this data, and you can download it. So here you can search various data sets. Uh, for example, precipitation. And uh, various spatial and temporal resolution uh, or for example vegetation uh, you can find here various uh, type of data and data sets that most of them are very crucial and necessary for uh, your research or for your studies. For example, I'm going to download uh, one year. the vegetation for the 2010 to 2011 from here and I'm going to plot this okay now let's see the downloaded data how it looks uh, I'm going to add all this downloaded data to the arc map. From download, So no dipped. And EVI, air temperature. Now, here is the data sets. You can see here the information about data. Uh, for example, I'm going to turn off the layer of the temperature and uh, vegetation covered area. And now here you can see the sono average, uh, sono of the one year here. And when you check each location that you can see the average cover of the coverage of the snow, the depth of the snow in each location. For example, 20 meters in this location and about 20 centimeters in this location. Uh, and also, this is the layer of the vegetation covered area. And you can change the colors, the look. For example, this area contains lava vegetation covered area. And these locations contains a higher vegetation coverage. You can see the values here. 
between the zero and one. So thanks for watching this video and wish you enjoy these tutorials and this one is also for a temperature. Did you see there is a direct relation between uh, air temperature and uh, altitude? A high location exposes a lower uh, degree of the temperature and the, this temperature is the calculated in Calvin and you can change this uh, quite using raster calculator from here using this raster calculator you can convert the Calvin units into the Celsius. Thanks for watching.